doing? I'm Todd Albrecht, president of Solus Boats. Today we're setting foot on the all-new 41 CS, making its world debut here at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. Let's show you around. So with a length overall of 41 feet, with a 12 foot 3 inch beam, coming in at right over 20,000 pounds, fully loaded, full fuel. Options start out with the triple 425 Yamahas, all the way up to quad Mercury 450 Racings. Right now, the way this boat is set up, with the full tower, full load of fuel, triple 425s, we're getting a top end between 65 and 67 miles an hour, with a cruise speed of around 40 to 45 miles per hour. The boat is really, really doing well. As we go around the boat, across the stern, we have twin 50-gallon live wells. Center line, we have the optional stern seat where you're sitting on top, and you have the removable backrest and removable cushions. You'll find throughout the boat, everything is on magnets. Very simple to remove, very simple to put back in place. Underneath this area, we have our center line above deck fish box, divider boards, bait and food trays. In this area, underneath my feet, we have our gen set, as well as all of our seacocks. Forward of that, we have our sea keeper, we have our house battery bank, our engine battery bank, as well as our inverter and charger. Going down the sides, we have a series of fish boxes or dry storage down both sides. Back in this area, we have an enormous oversized boarding ladder. Very comfortable to get in and out of the boat. Also with a grab rail. And I was being shown that also the, even the uh, cups are magnetic, right? That is correct. We're a big fan of magnets. You'll find that there's a usefulness to them all throughout the boat. Uh, whenever you're fishing, the fish always seem to bite when you got a drink in your hand. You never find a place quick enough to set them down. Just set them down wherever you want to. Oh, yeah. Just, uh, pretty cool. Just like the stabilizer, actually. They're using magnets that is correct. as well. So up here, we have our mezzanine seating sitting on top of the prep center. Pull the footrest out, pop up, you got the best seat in the house to watch trolled baits. Again, keeping with the theme of the magnets, everything's removable, stows away. When it's time to go fishing, you get them all out of your way. At the end of the day, when it's time to clean your catch, throw it on the grill and enjoy it. Tackle storage and dry bulk storage all across the back. 65 quart frigid rigid coolers on both sides of the prep center here. That's also acting as your first step as you go up the tower and into the upper station. Here we are at the helm. This is truly the command center of the boat. We're using the Garmin digital switching system to control all systems on the boat. Everything from lighting, from pumps, everything. For ex instance, we have our electri electrically actuated windshield. Starts to rain, close the windshield. We've got 16,000 BTUs of air conditioning here at the helm, making this definitely the coolest seat in the house. We're using shock mount seating so that you can actually stay in the seated position when you're running hard offshore. These just root, go up and down vertically at five inches of throw. Very, very comfortable seat. For the captain, he may not want to have to lean forward to reach all the controls. We have the Garmin grid system. You have full control of the vessel, the FLIR, everything right here at the touch of the arm. That's great. For some of our shorter clients, we have the ability to raise the helm an additional five inches. Now being a step bottom boat, as most step bottom boats are, they run very, very flat. So it's not necessarily trying to see over the bow coming up on the plane, but sometimes you just want to have a little bit better visibility of what's out far ahead of you. That was the reason for the, the helm riser. Really cool features. It is. That's it amazing. is. Raising time.
very large, oversized glove box drawers oh, on, on both sides. I like the uh, finish on that. I haven't seen that before. Very cool. So we're big into shock mitigation wherever we can. Although we, we pride ourselves in how soft and dry the ride is, there's still a full day on the water that shock really starts to get to us, especially as we get a little older. So we have a shock mitigation pad here on the floor that helps take the vibration out of your feet. We have shock mitigation on the seats and also on the steering wheel. All of this paracord wrap is over top of rubber shock mitigation pads that are inside the steering wheel. Going forward, we have our lockable rod storage on both sides of the boat, capable of handling seven seven-foot rods. So it's four rods against the hull side, three rods against the door. They sandwich in between one another. End of the day, close it up, lock it, everything stays secure. Come on, let's check out the bow. So as we get up here, everybody loves to ride up here. This is definitely one of the most comfortable seats in the house. And I say that for, for good reason. You can actually ride up here at speed. We're using a true memory foam in, this, in, in the cushions. The longer you stay seated, the more it conforms to you, the more comfortable it is. I would love to do a seat trial on this. <laughs> <laughs> Flanking either side of uh, our forward seating section, we have the forward seating recessed into the deck to help open up the bow, give us more fishable, usable space cockpit up front. Also gives us the backrests that are very, very comfortable to lean against when you're in a forward facing position while the boat's running. We have our cushioned seating and we have frigid, rigid coolers on the boat. Both of these coolers on both sides are removable. So those days that you want to tournament fish, you can simply disconnect them, lift them out of the boat, keep the bow nice and open. If you want to leave them in place and still fish the boat, you can always just slide the cooler right off. Again, with the magnets, very easy to put back in place. Coming forward, we have dock line storage compartments on both sides. Down here on the floor, if you'll notice, a tow kick so that you can get all the way up to the anchor locker comfortably. Inside the anchor locker, we have our 1,000 watt uh, Lumar windlass, 35 pound anchor, 350 feet of road and chain. We have bumper storage on both sides. Back into this area, you put your first fender, your second fender goes right into here. Now we're able to securely stow four fenders without taking up any of our valuable below deck space. We'll t come back to the cabin and we'll show you what we got inside. Another feature that we do and manufacture in-house is our pantograph hinge system. Very large door, very large opening, easy access, easy to get inside. Let's go on downstairs. Okay. Here we are inside the air-conditioned cabin of the 41 CS Solus. We have storage throughout every compartment including under the bed, all cedar lines. Right now we have it set up as our twin berths or sofas. The backrests come off, fit in the center section, making this one giant queen size berth. And what you do, you just pull this part out? Yep, these all just pull out. The backrests lay in place, Okay. fills in the whole center section. Is there a table or something that comes up? There is an optional table if you would like. We have truly found that most people prefer not to have the table. It ends up taking up a lot of usable space inside the boat. They're going to be eating outside. Yeah. This is just more of an area to come in and comfortably sit down. What is underneath this part? Of uh, just more dry storage there. And then this is uh, access to the shower sump pump system. Okay. Storage in here. This is also where you securely put the uh, carousel for the microwave. Okay. So that the microwave that's up here isn't making a lot of noise when you're running the boat. Yes. Inside the head. Oh. If you look up, you'll see that we have a rain shower oh, yes. right at the top. Nice. And a full window. Oh, okay, can you have a, and you shade, have a shade on it? Yep, it's nice. I want to get the uh, floor in there also. Okay. 
Then over here in the galley area, now keep in mind, only in here we have the microwave, outside we have the barbecue grill. So this is really just more of a prep area. We have an ice bucket, storage inside. Bottle storage. And keeping with the magnets, inside the overhead compartment, magnets are built into the wood. Uh -huh. So that we also have wine glasses and scotch glasses with the magnets in it that you can just put them in the boat, know that they're secure when you're offshore running. Is that something that uh, was innovative to just this boat? Or I, I wouldn't say that uh, we're the first people in the world to have ever okay. done it. Uh, we, we actually I have found seen it before. That's we have found it in the uh, RV world. Uh, we kind of feel like we're the first people doing it in the boat world, but we have seen it in RVs. And that's really for where boats, we got though, so for boats, we're the first. Wow, okay. For things like the cushions and stuff like that, we're absolutely the first to have that's done that. That's a great, great idea. When you say RVs, which RVs uh, utilize that? Uh, just about all of them at this point. Yeah, yeah. So right now we're talking about Solus Boats as a company and as a brand. Where did we come from? The owner of the company is Stephen Doherty. Stephen made his name in the early days at Boston Whaler. Later, he and his father, Bob, started Edgewater Power Boats, later started Everglades Power Boats. Once Everglades was sold, Stephen's non-compete expired. Solus is yet the fourth generation of what they're trying to produce as the greatest boats that they could possibly put out on the water today. Let me know you enjoyed this video by giving it a like and if you haven't done so already make sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you're kept up to date on other uploads for your boating pleasure.